Okay, as we all know, to calculate one half factorial, this right here is just the integral going from 0 to 1, and we have the square root, and we have ln t dt. And we can calculate this easily, and we will just get square root of pi over 2 dan d. And now I have a question for you guys. What is the value for negative one half factorial there? Well, we don't need to do the integral anymore. Check this out. Because we know that n factorial is the same as n times n minus 1 factorial. And we can just plug in n is equal to 1 half. So we will just get 1 half factorial right here. And that's equal to 1 half right here. And of course, we have 1 half minus 1. And then factorial that. Well, what's this? Well, I told you guys already. It's square root of pi over 2, which is pretty crazy. And this is just going to be 1 half. And this is equal to 1. Yes, we have the negative 1 over 2 factorial. You see how many over 2s there are, right? And of course, to figure this out, we can just multiply both sides by 2. So ladies and gentlemen, negative 1 over 2 factorial is just equal to, as uh, so we multiply by 2 right here for you guys like this cancel out cancel out yeah and then we can just get square root of pi and we'll just put this down right here but you know what this right here is actually just the same as the integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity of e to the negative x squared dx really cool huh